Hello everyone and welcome to an overview of the Daughters of Ash mod for Dark Souls 1. Daughters of Ash is a general progression overhaul mod with custom events for the game. It accentuates the best feature of Dark Souls 1, the sense of adventure and exploration. While this mod doesn't have many custom spells or items, it does have some new weapons and some new bosses. In this video it shows some of the new progression routes, hence there will be some spoilers. The game starts as one would expect, from the asylum and you are required to escape. Once you make it to Firelink you have the usual choices of the Undead Burg, New Londo, or the Catacombs. It is recommended to go towards the Burg as usual, but you have some differences here. Where you go straight to the Parish, the Hellkite Dragon is much more of a barrier this time around. This forces you to take advantage of the door before Tars Diem and into the more openness of the game. From here you have many choices, but Bell Gargoyles isn't one of them. The game from this point has a much different story. Sen's Fortress is immediately open, but is met with an unfortunate situation that you must resolve to continue to Anor Londo. From this point, many things can be done. You can progress normally, you can start a war with the Dark Wraiths, or you can journey around. This mod motivates exploration as many of the game's story features are locked behind specific paths. You'll want to find items for various bosses and areas to continue, and bosses which were once optional are required, and vice versa. Furthermore, without spoiling anything, you'll definitely want to think of ways you could progress to the world that normally wouldn't be necessary. In fact, that's one of the most interesting aspects of this mod, is that there are quite tricky ways to travel through the world now. Overall, I rate the mod rather high, given that it doesn't provide many new mechanics. It stays quite faithful to the original game, but its new adventure makes the game extremely enjoyable. Given that Dark Souls 1's specialty was always the grand journey it set you on, this mod does a great job to make the journey feel new. If you're interested in see how this plays, look at my playthrough of the mod below. If you're interested in playing it yourself, the mod is also linked in the video description. 